And God has done that for us. And I'm just proud to have him today as your guest speaker. He's my husband, God's servant, and Good Hope Pastor. And every tongue must confess. I can't blame you, you can't blame me. Because he has required that in the vision do what's right, no matter who is doing wrong. You can't look at other people and determine whether or not we do right because everybody got to give an account. make themselves feel good because they pointed others, amen, and they're not doing what they have done or have done, but keep in mind, we all have to give an account. Yes, we do. Yeah. All have to give an account, and the enemy is busy. Yes. It was a dark day in, in Paul's day, and Paul foresaw right. troubles coming. Right. He foresaw troubles coming in, and, and the people needed strong leadership. Yes. He is somebody who will stand against the wiles of the devil. Yes. Right. Yes. And understood, amen, his tactics. Yes. Yes. And understood his schemes. Yes. And would stand against the opposition to what God was all about. Right. Yes. He says, uh, I, I want to keep in mind, amen, that one day we're going to appear. Mm -hmm. 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. He, he says, he says, I want to keep in, keep in mind, saints, not just the preacher pastor. All of us, all of us will appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Now the first judgment I mentioned is the great white throne judgment where the unsaved will appear. Somebody said, well, I didn't know about it. God said, oh yeah. I had the preachers preach. One tried to get out of hell. Said, said, Amen. He couldn't do that. He wanted uh, Abraham to send somebody back. Tell them, don't come here. But he says, I'm going to tell you now, if they won't hear Moses and the prophets, they're not going to hear one from the dead. It's got to be done on this side. Can everybody say amen? amen. It's got to be done on this side. It's got to be done on this side, amen. Because 2 Corinthians 5 and 10 says to the believer, all of us will have to appear for the judgment seat of Christ. So if you've been born again, keep in mind, it's not over. Right. You've been saved, that's true enough, but you gotta stand before him. All right now. And, and you're not gonna you're not gonna get no crown just because you've been singing and preaching. Because he's gonna base it on your motive for yes, what you've been doing. Because right. right. he says he's gonna bless us according to our deeds done in our bodies, right. whether they're good or bad. Good and bad to mean that for the right motive and the wrong motive. Right. So if I'm gonna preach because I want somebody to pat me on my back, wrong motive. Right. If I'm gonna sing because I want somebody to pat me on my back, amen, talk about how well I can perform, wrong motive. So I should do what I do to the glory of God that don't nobody say nothing, amen. I said it good up this morning who enlisted me into the army. Yeah. The others may not do what they ought to do, but if I can please the one that enlisted me. Yeah. Yeah. So I can hear him say, well done. Yeah. So the word says, we have to maintain faithfulness. And it does not mean that we're, it's going to be easy all of the time. Right. Preach the word. Preaching Preach also means to proclaim. Yes. Right. So I don't want you to just limit it to Pastor McGee. Right. You ought to be saying something too. Yes. 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 Because the gospel is not limited just to the preacher. Yes. Right with you. Yes. Yes. Man, man, he told the women that went to the, to the cemetery, go tell them he's alive. Yes. So the gospel story can be told by anybody. Yes. That's been born again with effectiveness. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Don't read that something I didn't say. Somebody hear me? All right. But every child of God.
God. Amen. Men and women ought to be faithful in Amen. sharing the good news Amen. with others that don't know Jesus Christ. Amen. Don't be satisfied because you've been in the church all your life. Amen. What have you been doing? <laughs> Somebody want to shout out that? What have you been doing? Because we're going to appear before the judgment seat of Christ. And, and while we're here, we have to maintain faithfulness. Don't let the devil distract you. Amen. Because he'll try to distract you yes. if you're attention on something else. Yes. He'll cause you to focus on others and lose focus of yourself. Yes. And so the word says here, to, he says we have to maintain faithfulness. And, 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 and Paul says, preach the word or shout the word, be instant in see that. I mean, be ready. Amen. To stand against the wiles of the devil. Be, be ready. Be ready to stand against all opposition. Be, be ready for any opportune time to share the word of God. And when you share the word, you're sharing something dynamic. Yes. Romans 1 and 16. He said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It is the power of God and the salvation to go yes. that good. You read it? Yes. Uh, yeah. And so the word says that if we make if we maintain our faithfulness, don't let nothing distract us. And the devil is good at trying to discourage you. One of his most effective weapons is discouragement. You can know you ought to be doing something. But the cost you've been discovered is throwing you back up. Yeah. 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 If I say this, they're going to talk about me. Well, let them talk to me. If I do this, they're going to criticize me. Let them criticize me. Well, I can't talk as well as others. You don't have to talk to your own talking. Remember, you're talking about Jesus. You're not teaching, teaching no English class. I can't speak eloquently like other. You don't have to. Say right. what you know about Jesus. Yeah. And if he say, say you, you got something to say. Yeah. Yeah. The woman at the well that hadn't been to the seminary not one day. Not one day. But when she got a taste of that walk, yeah. didn't have no choir to pump her up, cry right. her up. Yeah. She left the water park running, left, left the water park, left the well running back to town. Telling the men, come see him. So you don't have no degree, you don't have no certificate. Go on and tell your story. So he is, he is alive. Share the word in any situation. Be long suffering. Exalt Amy. Be encouraging to others. Help them to go forth in and the long suffering doctrine. Hey, doctrine has to do with teaching. Sharing the word of God. Sharing the word of God. Yeah. I said sharing the word of God. Yeah. And, and that's what we need today more of is that is the word of God. Yeah. The word of God changes lives. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Anybody believe it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it changed me. Yes, it see, see, the new hope, you know, I met church members a few years ago, but the building is not new to me. That's right. I saw it when I was rambling. I parked out here. Now I'm over around the corner. Oh my God. I'm about to move and can't get away. At least get one kiss in for the least. The Lord to bring me back to every amen. No. Hallelujah, amen. And, and, and keep in mind, we 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 once were something else. Yeah. That's why we ought to be faithful to Him now because He has made us His sons and His daughters. Amen. amen. Maintain faithfulness, and to maintain faithfulness, you got to do your proper exercise. Right. Right. You can't be faithful if you don't pray. You, you got to pray, man. 
you got to pray. You got to pray. Just talking to others about your trouble is not going to do it. You got to pray. You got to talk to the man who not only can heal you and promise, but who can perform. A lot of people can promise you, but they can't perform. They'll say, well, I had good intention, and that's all it was. Amen. But God can not only promise, he can bring it to pass. So he says, we have to maintain our faith in the past. I want to encourage you. Be faithful. Be faithful. Be faithful. Be faithful. No matter how you may be criticized, be faithful. No matter how you may be talked about, be faithful. Know, know who called you. Now if you're shaky about who called you, Pastor, you're in trouble already. Don't be shaky. If you say God Almighty called you to preach, that what you've testified, I heard your first sermon. But the word says when you when you know who called you, when he called you, you got a lot going for you. There's nothing can happen to you you don't know about because he's the omniscient one. Nothing can come up on you, big amen, and, and overtake you because he's the omnipotent one. He, he's all powerful. Do I have do I have a witness? And then, then that, there's nowhere you, you 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 may go that he's not there because he's on my present, amen. He's everywhere at the same time. And let me tell you, he don't change with the wind. Pastor, Hebrews 13 and 8 said he's the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. No change. He remains the same. Pastor, Pastor Mahi, I want to encourage you to take advantage of every opportunity to be faithful to the Lord. No matter who, who may speak uh, negative, but you be faithful. Yes. Yes. I've been preaching 43 years now. All right. Amen. 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 And I have been young. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm getting older, amen. <laughs> David said, but I've never seen the righteous for sin. No, it's seed big and bread, amen. And no matter, and as you grow old, if you if you if you stay focused, you gain wisdom. All right. Now some stuff you don't you learn not to not to mess with. That's right. And the devil have some distractions along the way. He, 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 the, the devil is like a, a little fight dog. Uh -huh. The big bulldog is sleeping uh, on the garret. Somebody don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> The porch. <laughs> Big bulldog is sleeping on the porch. <laughs> and the little fire say, hey, man, just won't shut up. You trying to pass the house. <laughs> you can have the fight with the bulldog. <laughs> you want to ease by the house. You know, we used to walk and we just try to eat. We didn't want to stir up no rocks or nothing. <laughs> And he was a big dog there. <laughs> but that little fire kept going, yup, 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 you're always yapping. I don't want to shut up. <laughs> and if you get by that, amen, and then if you woke up, whoo, <laughs> down the road we go, amen. <laughs> the devil is like that. <laughs> Use the little things, amen, to stir up stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to keep on watching. And if you be faithful, everything going to be all right. Stick with the word. Stick with the word, Pastor. Preach the word. Preach the word. Live the word. Amen. Stand on the word. And if you stand on the word, you got an unmovable mountain. On the landscapes of eternity. Because he said, heaven and earth may pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Isaiah 55 and 11 said, my word shall not return to me for And I say as the pastor, whatever you want to bring to pass, preach on it. Don't fuss about it. Preach on it. 
And, and the word plows away through, amen. Yeah. Don't, I said to them before you try to do anything, you got something you want to preach on it first. Yeah. Yeah. And the word will open the way. Yeah. Yeah. But when people say, I can't see it, they're not lying. <laughs> you have to help them to see it from the Bible. Yeah. So the word says, Jesus says in Matthew 4 and 4, man shall not live, but by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Right. Now I want to encourage you. Jesus says that in Matthew 4, in, in, in encouraging us to be to maintain faithfulness with the word because it's dynamic. Yeah. When the devil comes at you, Pastor McGee. And to all of you that's present, amen, you got to be sure you have the right word in your bag. You can't come out with any kind of word. When you got the right word in your bag, you can hammer, go live. Because David, amen, got him five smooth stones. Out of the brook and put them in the shepherd's bag. Now, if you get your ammunition out of another bag, you got the wrong ammunition. We have the right word. Anybody hear me? Be faithful with that word because Jesus said you can handle the devil. The devil came to him and tempted him. He said, Man, he said, if you be the Son of God, he's going to cast doubt in your mind. Command these stones to be made great. And, and one writer says, amen, Jesus had fasted 40 days and night. He said, even the stones kind of look like bread. Let me tell you, temptation will come, but you can stand if you use the word of God. And he took the book of Deuteronomy, every scripture he got was from the book of Deuteronomy, man, and baffled the devil. But pastor, I want to tell you how to handle the devil. Use the word of God. Yes, yes. People use the word of God. But you got to be skillful. Yes. I mean, you, the devil come at you with something. You talking about, well, I'm going to tell my mama, he's not tempting your mama. <laughs> <laughs> he's tempting you. <laughs> You're going to have to be able to stand up against the devil yourself. <laughs> the arm is not limited just to your mama and your dad. <laughs> if you've been saved, you got to put the whole arm on yourself. And the Bible, the Bible said, Jesus says, amen. And he went on the and he said, well, the Bible said he took Jesus upon the mountain. Yes, he did. Showed him all of the kingdoms of the world. Right. But you got to maintain faithfulness. Yes, and then you got to know why you're where you are. Yes. Don't lose focus on, amen, why you're here, Pastor Lord. Right. Jesus was not in the willingness to turn the amen, uh, stones to bread. Right. He was not in the wilderness to make a name for himself. He was there to represent the Father. Right. Don't lose focus on, amen, your assignment because the devil is creating troubles, amen. Yeah. Jesus kept his focus. Yes. And the devil says to him, if you would just own that, if you would just own that, worship me. The Bible says he showed him all of the kingdoms in a moment of time. Keep in mind, he was in the wilderness. Yeah. He was not of time. Okay. What is that telling us? You works on your mind. Yeah. You can be laying up in your bed and see stuff in your mind. Yeah. That you have an amen. You have an amen. Yeah. Uh, come in contact with yet. You, you can dream about stuff. Sometime I dream, amen. I said, oh boy, when I woke up, I'm glad it wasn't like that. <laughs> your mind. In a moment of time, he flashed it all before the Lord. So you have to be careful yep. and be sure that you're walking in the Spirit. Yes. The devil, Jesus says to him, Amen, thou shalt not worship uh -huh. nothing else right. but only God Almighty. Amen. He went on to say, get behind me, Satan. Yes. Let me tell you this, Amen, Amen, all of us this afternoon, Amen, we got to be able to to take the word of God amen. and deal with the devil. Because he don't honor, amen, what's in the cloud of it. He honor what's in this book. That's right. and, and Jesus says to us, he goes, what you got to do, 
you got to be able to use the appropriate scripture yes, right, yes. for the particular temptation. Yes, right. Did you catch that? Yes. And every scripture he used deals with the particular temptation that the devil threw at him. And on the way to baffle the devil, you got to have the word of God in, in you. And you can't have it in you if you don't study it. Yes. You need to go to the Bible. Yes. You need to come to Sunday school. Yes. You need to get on the teaching of the word of God and get all you can in your spirit because there's some other news out there that you don't need in your spirit. And if you don't know what to do, you're capable of doing that which is wrong. And the Bible says in Holy 4 and 6, people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Well, in this maintaining faithfulness, I want to encourage you that if you be faithful, the Lord will see you through. Being faithful will liberate you. Yes, it will. That's what Paul was encouraging Timothy. Being faithful will liberate you. The Hebrew boys said, we're not going to bow. Uh, is that what they said? We're not going to bow. And then said, well, then, if, if you don't deliver us from the furnace, we'll be out of your hands. And then Paul came along and said, for me to live is Christ. To die is the game. He said, if he allows us to die, we're going to be out of your hands. You won't get a chance to do it again. Yeah. I want to tell you, if you be faithful, yes, the Lord will bless you. And then the Bible says, hey, their faith is liberated them. Amen. Amen. They threw three in the furnace. Yeah. Paul said to Timothy, be faithful, man. Be faithful. Be faithful. And, and they threw three in the furnace, amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, 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 and some people, amen, been taking the miracle out of the furnace. Right. Talking about God made it an air condition. That's not true. <laughs> Because when they threw them in, the fire killed those who threw them in. And then burned the ropes off of their hands. And not even the smell of smoke was on them. Now don't make it, don't make it so easy for devils to shout, amen. Uh, hallelujah to the Lamb. That fire was hot. But it couldn't burn the children of God. Because they them. All right. And then here's another one I'm going to tell you. Daniel says if you maintain your faithfulness, maintain. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't pay attention to the threats that the enemy throws out. Well. Daniel says, amen, I'm going to stand on the word of God. I'm not going to eat your food, king. Yeah. Pastor McGee and all of you, don't eat the devil's food. Yeah. Right. Amen. Don't eat the devil's food. Yeah. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel said, no, we don't want it. Just, 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 give, us, just give us some simple food. And, and, and try us for 10 days. Come back and look at us then and see how it is then. And the Bible tells me, after the days, they look better than the other folk. They've been eating from the king's table, but they were eating just that common food. And they were fattier and healthier. Let me tell you, when you do it God's way, God will bless you spiritually, mentally, and physically. Hallelujah to the Lamb. If you be faithful, you can't, you can't let your tiredness get you now. Come on, I don't feel like it. There's a lot of things you may not feel like doing, but you don't stop doing it. You don't feel like going to work sometimes, but you still get up. And you're looking for that paycheck, amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb. So there are times we are tested. And God wants to know if we be faithful to his calling on our life. Keep the charge. And you know what? A battery go bad in your car won't keep a charge. You get rid of it, don't you? And I'm going to tell you something. There are some believers, amen, they're not aware of it. But if they don't serve, God can remove them. I said, God can remove them. Because in, in John 15, that's what he's dealing with. Uh, he said, every branch of me that bear fruit, the Father purges it. He nourishes it. But those that don't bear fruit, he cuts them off. And he did not say, trying to get in me. He said, in me. So believers have to be sure they be faithful. And it's not age that determines it. It's your faithfulness to the Lord. And then you don't have to worry. Pastor McGee, I know you want to be successful. I know you want to be successful in your area, but keep in mind, he didn't tell you to be successful. The success is in his hand. But you be faithful, he'll take care of success. You be faithful. You say, well, I haven't accomplished this, and so I'm going to throw my hands. And no, you keep on being faithful. Because when he called the road, 
The Bible says he will say, well done. Thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. I'll make you rule over many things. I'll encourage all of you that's present to me. Maintain your faithfulness. And the devil will try to stop you now. And, and sometime in life he'll tell you, you're getting old now. You need to retire. You, you must not go. You must not leave. That's after without official leave. You, you can't leave on your own. That's AWOL. When you go AWOL, the MPs come at you. You got to keep in mind, amen, God has a way of sending his MPs at you. So I want to encourage, and I want to pass to all of us, maintain faithfulness. And again, I go back up to the top, amen. You got to, you got to do your exercise. You got to pray. Amen. Because sometimes, amen, life gets difficult. Circumstances are very trying. But if you stay on your knees, you can pull your load. They say an ox and knees are, amen, they are calluses. But that's the reason because he know he can pull his load better on his knee. Somebody ought to hear me now. If you pray, everything will be all right. And then here is something else, amen. You got to read the Bible. And then apply the Bible. If you let the word work in your life, the word will give you power. Give you strength. And then you got to submit to the Holy Ghost. You got to allow him to lead you and guide you. Yeah. And that's what we need today. We need some evidence in all the individual life that God is with them. Yeah. You, you got to be faithful now. Yeah. Do you hear me? You got to be faithful. He's saying to him, be faithful. And then make full proof of your ministry. If you say you're a servant of God, be faithful. Yeah. Let others know you are faithful. If you are saying you're saying faithful. If you're a teacher, teach faithful. If you're a preacher, preach faithful. If you're a pastor, be faithful. Whoever you are in the church, be faithful to the Lord. Because there is an announcement that's going to be made. The Bible says, in Revelation, he says, you be faithful. Because God has something for you. He said, I'm going to tell you something else. Don't. Don't be disturbed because of those who appear to be hypocrites. All right. He says, I know those that belong to me. He said, but if you be faithful to death, I'll give you a crown of life. Do anybody hear me this afternoon? Maintain your faithfulness because the day will come when all of us will have to give an account of the deeds done in our bodies, whether they're good or whether they're bad. I want to tell you that uh, Jesus was faithful. Uh, when he was on his way to Calvary, uh, he stopped by Gethsemane. Uh, and while there, he took his bosom buddy, the inner circle of disciples, uh, uh, Peter, James, and John, yeah. and, said, and then he left the others a little full out, amen. He said to them, amen, y'all watch with me yeah. while I pray. Yeah. And he went on and prayed, and he said, Father, Father if it be yeah. your will, let the cup pass away. And he prayed again, if it be your will, let it pass away from you. The last time he said, but not my will, but your will be done. Your will must be swallowed up in God's will. It cannot be your way, amen. Jesus, amen, was faithful to the calling on his life. And the Bible said, faithful even to death. Even to going to Calvary Hill. But let me tell you, when you're faithful, yeah. the Father will not forget about you. Do I have another witness? If you maintain your faithfulness by praying, reading the Bible, applying it to your life, and submitting to the Holy Spirit, and, and, and if you're like me, you're having trouble with the devil every now and then. But the Bible says, if you walk in the Spirit, you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh, amen. If you walk in the spirit, Amos 3 and 3 say, but you got to agree with him. Don't try to take him to school, let him take you to school. How can two walk together except they be in agreement? And I want to encourage you.
agree with him because he knows all things. Don't try to tell him how you want him to direct your life. Just submit to him and he will guide you. He'll direct you. He will empower you. And if you be faithful, the master is coming back again. And the Bible says he's coming back on the clouds. And when he appears in the midst air, amen, all those that have trusted him, been faithful to him, if they're in the grave, they're coming out. If they're still alive, they'll be changed in the moment, in the twinkle of an eye. I don't know about you, but I'm waiting. And Paul said, love his appearing. And, and, and Paul said to Timothy, you hold on because his appearing will come one day. We're going to meet him in the midst air. Are you looking for your flight? Are you looking for your flight? Amen. And I told good old man, man, you don't see jets flopping no wings, do you? No, no, you see birds flapping their wings. That's how they know how to build airplanes. But, but amen, jets don't flop their wings. Jet, jets move by power. Somebody shout hallelujah. So I don't need, I, I won't be singing, give me my wings. I don't need wings. I got power. I got power. And thank God for Jesus Christ. One of these old days, uh, when, when, the, when the road is called, amen, and when, when the dead in Christ shall rise first, it will be the power of God calls us if we're in the grave to come out of the grave. And if we're in the grave, we'll still here be changed in a moment of twinkle alive. We'll take off the mortal and put on immortality. Yes. Which means this, amen, the body pains you have, you won't have it no more. No more heartaches. No more cancer. No more knees replacement. No more hip replacement. No more heart attack. When, when the Lord come back again. And Paul said, and we know this, amen, that we have another bill. Do you know, do you know this? And there are some things you've got to know, children of God. I, I know I've got another bill. I, I have pains, I've had surgeries a few times, but uh, uh, one of these days, uh, I got a new building coming. That's not subject to the problems in life now. And then Job said, you got to know also that your Redeemer is not dead. So Job 19, 25, he said, I know my Redeemer lives. Uh, do you know Jesus is alive? So I know I'm going to get me a new body. That's why I'm going to be faithful. Amen. I know Jesus is alive. That's why I'm a faithful. He's on the right hand of the Father. Uh, and then the third thing you need to know, Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things works together for good that those that love the Lord. Amen. If you be faithful, amen, God will mix up your troubles, uh, your trials and tribulations. Amen. He's a good mixer. Amen. Amen. Our grandparents and mothers used to take biscuits and make biscuit pudding. Leftover biscuits, leftover rice and make rice pudding. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Amen. God is able. Uh, I said, God Uh, 3 o'clock was for the afternoon uh, evening sacrifice uh, and then it 
Calvary. He said, into your hand, uh, I commend my spirit. Didn't give it to Peter to do it. Uh, didn't give it to John to do it. But Jesus, I'm paying myself. He gave up, amen, what it took for us to be saved, amen. But that wasn't the end of the story. Uh, they took him down from the cross, uh, put him in Joseph's new tomb. Uh, the curtain is down now. Uh, I said, the curtain is down now. Uh, but It's going to be all right. Yeah. The past week, yes, right. Yes, you remain faithful. I want to encourage you to maintain your faithfulness in the name of the Lord. God bless you and God keep you. Amen.